Hey, what's up, you sons of legends? How's it going? Kiwi and Bacon here. Today, I decided to try another deck that was made by our friend Zananana. Um, Zana for short. Uh, at least that's what I call him. Um, so, it is another Disco Lock, uh, which is one of the stronger versions of Warlock uh, at the moment. Um, it doesn't run the Fist of Jiraxis like the last one. Uh, last disco lock we played however you do have a demon fire and you do have um possessed villagers to buff or uh to keep on the board so you you have more aggression and everything so it looks like a pretty decent uh pretty decent version we're gonna give it a shot hopefully it works well and um i'm hoping uh, we have some fun with it so uh let's get into a game here now again, Z Zana is one of the um, good deck creators that I follow constantly. Um, I like playing his decks. I don't always make videos on them, but uh, this one I thought was worthy of a video as uh, he made a great guide. Um, and so I wanted to complement that with a gameplay video. Um, so if you want to learn how to play the Disco Lock... Uh, go on Heartbound on the description I'm gonna put in this, uh, the description I'm gonna put in the description. That's not what I wanted to say. The link I'm gonna put in the description, and you click on there and you, it'll bring you to the one uh, Disco Lock page, and Z uh, Zana explains everything you need to know about the deck. Don't laugh. <laughs> um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. We're going to make another giveaway this week. Um, doesn't it have to be on... On... Um, on what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. doesn't have to be on Twitter this week. I'm just going to do the, like, uh, the um, comments in the comment section. So from today to this uh, Tuesday... Thursday... Thursday. Today to Thursday, if you put a comment in the description of one of the videos that I made from today until then, um, you'll have a chance to win. So, you'll, you know, try it out. You might just win two card packs. Okay? That's a good deal, right? You need help? Yeah. Okay. I was like, am I going to have to, like, give it, back to, give it back to you on camera? That'd be pretty pathetic. <laughs> Um, fortunately, I did not need to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going to play this here, so that way he doesn't have the little apprentice on the board. We can just throw that out. Um, draw another card. Abusive Sergeant is a pretty good deal. And he's playing... I was going to say, he's playing Tempo. Um... Okay, knife Jugglers are a pretty good deal. Abusive Sergeant's also a pretty good deal. Um, uh, it's, I'm losing some... I was going to say, I'm losing some damage on that one. But uh, it worked out perfectly fine, so we're good. I'm just hoping he doesn't have, like, a um, Arcane Explosion or something stupid like that in his deck. That would be... That would be pretty bad for us. He, okay, he's using a torch on a Void Walker. Interesting choice. Okay, well, Dark Peddler is going to go. Sure, I can play another Abusive Sergeant. Why not? Abusive Sergeant, just two extra damage for free, which is pretty good. Um, next turn we have a Doom Guard. And my cat is doing some noise in the background. This is probably not going to be the best video I've ever made, but it doesn't really matter. Ooh, question. Do we play, do we play Doom Guard or do we use Dire Wolf? I think I'm going to Dire Wolf because I actually do want to trade the, uh, the Worm. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna draw. That would be kind of a waste since I'm gonna play Doomguard. Um, 
Don't really need to do that. Okay, so there's the Arcane Blast. Cold Sorcerer. Alright. And the Sorcerer is probably going to die. Ah, but the Knife ah, Screw Knife Juggler. It's probably one of the only times I'm going to say that, but... Screw Knife Juggler. The 5 damage face is really good. Can you stop being a little asshole down there? I know I bought you a new cat food bag, but you don't have to play with it. God. I'm still in my shitty setup, but I said I decided to like come play in the basement, because... Why not? Um, the internet works in the basement now, but um, my Wi-Fi card is still dead on my... on my good computer, so... Eh. Okay, Flame Imp, pretty pretty bad draw here. I'm hoping to get another Doom Guard or oh, okay. Torch. Whatever. The cool thing is that we draw two cards a turn and he doesn't. Also, I don't have any demons. Well, that was a little switcheroo thing here. Um, I don't have any demons. I was wishing I could play that on a demon, but... Sadness. Alright. Fireland portal. Okay, well. Uh, this... I'm going to play Soul Fire on this. Cuz if I just play if I just play Dark Shark on someone he could attack into it and kill it for free since I don't have any other minions behind which is pretty annoying. Okay, Mana Worm is pretty bad for him. He does get a fireball. I need some damages here. I don't have much more than that. Um, he's going to be able to kill it. Ugh, oh, water elemental. Okay. Alright. Um, Void Walkers here, Defender of Arcus. We could potentially have some damage going face. If that was Flame Strike, that would have been pretty bad. You can remove everything. Very unfortunate. Um, Imp, Doom Guard. He's down to one. Um, it's he's gonna have to trade his Water Elemental into the Doom Guard, unless he gets another Fireball. In which case, yeah. Ugh. Interesting. Please don't kill Melchizar Zimp. Alright. So this looks like a win. If he did put two... If he did actually put another one into the Imp, I could have been in trouble, but... He didn't. I'm happy about that. Alright. First win. That was nice. Um, that was fast. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I know, right? That, that was my first one. The deck is really, really freaking fast. I know, right? That's uh. I didn't even finish doing my nails. I know. Yeah, you, usually I, pl usually <laughs> I play longer. Usually I play like longer decks. Usually I play like priest or 
or um, warrior or druid and everything and it takes forever but this deck is like either you win super super fast or you get completely destroyed super super fast <laughs> so it's it's good for climbing actually I, I like it um, none of those are really good and none of those are really good either you need a one drop you definitely need a one drop without a one drop you're you know kind of ah there we go that's a one drop that is the best one drop okay maybe not the flame imp is really good all right all right okay so dire wolf now, you know, see, it would be nice if we could get another Silverware Golem, so next time we could play Knife Juggler, Soul Fire into Silverware Golem, but we're going to have to take a 50-50 here, most likely, so. Unfortunately. Then again, I do, ni I do like me some Knife, uh, some Knife Peddler. Knife Peddler. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so Mortal Coil. Now, you can hate me all you want. I know I didn't put it on the other side. I was thinking about what I was going to say. It's normal. You can hate me if for for no, for all I care. It doesn't matter. We we fucked up, but you know, we're still in the game. See, it was going to die anyway. It doesn't matter. It was going to it was going to die anyway. Um all right. So here I want to play Librarian, but I also want to play Knife Juggler. So I'm going to play Knife Juggler first. I'm going to play Librarian. Silver Golem. Sadness. It's fine. See, it was not actually a misplay because he killed it with the Frostbolt afterwards, so... We're good, right? Can he kill the Knife Juggler? See, at worst, this card is at 3-3. It's bad, but it's not too bad. Like, it's another minion for you on the board. And since you're playing Zoo, all you want is a bunch of minions on there. So, okay. Okay, I'm scared. Ah... All right, that was uh, that was very, very violent. I'm gonna play Soulfire since I can do this. All right now, I can drop my three-three on the board for free, which is pretty damn good. He's probably gonna have to ping my three-one. Gonna draw a card, which is awesome. A second flame waker. We have to kill it, but after that we should be good to go. Oh, would you look at that? Second soul fire. So there it goes. Both flame wakers are dead. Okay. I could not have known that. See, you don't want to, on purpose, draw a card, then play Soulfire if you don't have a Melkazar, uh, Melkazar's Imp on the board already. Um, if I did draw, I would have drawn into my Silverware Golem, which means I would also have another Golem on the board. Which can be good or bad, because some mage decks play Flame Strike And Blizzards. Blizzard is pretty good. Okay. Okay. I still have seven. Well, I discard it. I play. I don't play. No. Around flame strike too much. Um. Do I kill? Do I kill the? Yeah, I'm gonna kill the Asher Drake.
I also thought about this one. I was like, what if, what if I draw something that heals versus the imp? Yeah, okay. Well, there's the flame strike. Played right into it. It is okay, though. See, this is something I need to pl to pay more attention to. I need to pay my min to pay my minions. I need to play my minions uh, with the most health on the the left side. I, I get a bunch of co comments telling me like, "Hey, you're an idiot. You don't do that." It's true. Sometimes it's a good idea to do that for for like wolf placement. Like I missed it a little bit earlier. That never happened, by the way. You guys cannot tell that to anyone. I'll find you. <laughs> Okay, that's a fireball. All right. Apprentice. How much damage is this? I'd say enough. I'd say it is plenty of damage. In fact, it is exact lethal. Would you look at that? There we go. Second game. Against Mage. Eh, Mage is a pretty decent matchup, actually. And there we go, back to rank 5. It's an actual pretty good deck to get to. Like, if you don't make it to, le to Legend, you can at least make one. Most of you can at least make it to, to rank 5 using a deck like this. Uh, at least I would assume so. Because super easy to climb with, because the games are short. Um, it's cheap. For, for the most part, it's super cheap. How cheap is it? Let me take a look. Let me take a look. I completely forgot how cheap it was. Oh well, I don't have it with me on the screen. But it's cheap. Uh, knife juggler... I do like the knife juggler into Imp King boss. Or coin out Imp King boss on turn 2. Yeah, especially if he has a, a weapon. If he has, if he gets out an axe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Not because our zimp to draw the axe out. Then I'm gonna play imp king boss. There we go. Then I'm gonna play imp king boss. Come on, coin. Whoops, wrong card. It can boss. Now against Warrior, I don't know how well this does because there's a lot of removal in Warrior. Could be a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna have to Dark Petler here. Oh my god. That is so good. Dude, you just don't understand how good this is. Blood Cell Corsair, rip! I <laughs> get wrecked! Dude! Okay, that was really, really freaking lucky. He just don't understand, like, that axe is gone. That was a nice... I was like, I'm trying to get, like, an abusive sergeant so I can trade with the Acolyte. So he only draws one card. But making sure that he doesn't use his weapon properly, that's even better. That's actually a really good deal. Um, Alright, we're going to attack here. I'm going to counsel him. I'm going to imp... I have to play like I said I was going to play. Big help. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, guys. There's a dog upstairs. It's it's not mine. It's annoying. I want it. You want the dog? That's an execute, isn't it? That's an execute. All right. Um, I guess I can play Knife Juggler. I guess I can play Dark Peddler. Here. 
I don't really want Finley, it's pretty terrible. Uh, Voidwalker though is a decent pick. I'm just I'm just hoping that it actually hits. Please. Shit. I lost the damage. I tried. It wasn't no. It was two fifty fifties. But I missed one. I shouldn't have taken it. Disciple. All right. Um, oof, okay. Um, I don't want to do. Shit. Can trade here. Because I can play Demon Fire and Light Darkshire Librarian, but I'm losing Doom Guard, or I can play Doom Guard, or I could just play Demon Fire alone, which I didn't because I thought it was freaking stupid. So I'm not doing that. Though I'm letting him draw a bunch of cards, which is super annoying. Yeah, no problem. Shield slam. I know. Or not. Whatever. Gonna attack, gonna attack. We're just gonna chip at your armor. How big is Katoon now? Ten? He's ten. So we can play twin emperors. Or just another execute. All right. I'm gonna have to trade. I'm definitely gonna have to trade. I'm gonna play Servar Golem. I'm gonna play Possessed Villager. I'm not playing the Wolf. It is useless at the moment. This warrior is just beating me by playing on curve. Almost. Ugh. Okay, I'm never winning now. It's impossible. It's, it's impossible. Okay, I can attack here. I can soul fire it. It's dead, but my wolf is gonna die. And then he's still at 30. Too much. GG! It's, it's okay, you won. Whatever. Ugh. The, the, the sad part is that he was not playing like fully control warrior, he was actually playing cartoon warrior. Which to me, in my opinion at least, is a little bit um, lower in the quality of the deck. Like the control warrior is a little bit better. I don't know what other cards he had, but it looks like he was playing a lot of the cultists, so... I don't know. In my opinion, the deck could have been a bit better, but he still kicked my ass, so that's uh, that's a bit unfortunate. That's fine. Let's play the last one. Hopefully, you know, we can stomp him. Rogue is a decent matchup, usually. Alright. Well, I need a 2-drop, that's for sure. I can keep the Darkshire Councilman. I wish I had the one drop demon. Please? No? Alright. Whatever. I don't like to I don't like to draw on turn two, it's pretty weak. Especially as a Zulok. 
definitely not some, something you want to do. He's probably keeping his backstabs and everything. Well, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Gotta lay on the aggression already. Alright, SI7. Yeah, my councilman is pretty dead here, isn't he? I'm gonna try it out anyway. Don't have anything else to play. And if he attacks into it with his uh, SI7, I can just demon fire it to kill it. So. Alright. Why though? <laughs> Doesn't count. I'm very confused by this one. Let's pretend this never happened. There's just a good matchup against Rogue, yes. As I said. This game never happened. <laughs> the dude just abandoned on turn two, like Yes, sometimes your hand is frustrating, but I mean, ah, R um, shaman is a bit difficult depending on the hand that you get. Currently, we have a pretty sick hand, so we'll see. I actually do like the defender of Argus because of um, all of the face damage that they can they can do. Plus. Um, I can buff my creatures a little bit against um, the Maelstrom portals and the Lightning Storms and everything, so it's a pretty decent hand. And it doesn't look like he has Trog, and I have a Soulfire. Soulfire is amazing against Shaman. Can kill Trog, can kill the 3 4. Going to coin out an Imp Gang Boss. Reason we play him Gang Boss first is that if we play Dark Shark Councilman, at least um, if there is something on the board, you can trade and turn it into a 2 5, and 2 5 for 3 is not too bad. Unless he just hexes. I personally would have waited for the X, as uh, and for some reason now I decided to, I'm not even listening to myself. All right, all right. Well, uh, um, okay. So it does look like we're gonna play a soul fire here. Uh, Dark peddler, it is. Sure. Use of sergeant's fine. So we're gonna attack here. We're gonna play soul fire. Then again, I can play. I can play abusive sergeant right now. Um, now we're gonna soul fire. Nice. I have a doom guard next turn. Pretty sick. He's probably going to want a lightning storm here or spell powered portal. Here's the storm. Now if I get a one drop, I'm probably going to play defender. But I don't. I get an amazing golem. So we're going to go face for 10. He did play a Hex, so I'm not too scared about the Doom Guard getting Hexed. He only has 4 mana as well. Since this is already low, I'm gonna use that. Now, I know I'm missing a little bit of damage, but I'd rather have a big 
that full health creatures that doesn't get completely destroyed to another board clear flame tongue okay it's, well it's gonna attack into the, the six one okay well we are going to actually maximize damage so this attacks here this attacks here gonna play a dark shard librarian go face for six he's at three on turn seven yeah. for a shaman that's we're doing pretty good right now i still have a card draw i can hero power i think i still have a soul fire no do i i don't think i do actually but it doesn't matter there we go So that was what? Four and one? Pretty good. Right? Um, so Xana managed to make it to uh, Legend with this deck. I think Legend uh, top two, which is pretty incredible. Um, now I don't know if he just played this deck entirely or if he made it, you know, that in addition of something else. But I think that if it manages to do so well high up in the ladder and that uh, it's great to climb with there is a fairly great chance of you you know getting a bunch of ranks and at least getting your uh, epic for the month um so apart from that i hope that you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like share and subscribe it's free and it helps the channel grow so it makes me want to make more videos for you guys um i know i'm moving my hands too much but that's who i am uh you guys can hit on me but um i'll keep doing that <laughs> And uh, please try to, you know, leave a comment down below and you might just get a chance of winning two Hearthstone card packs this week. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.